Question number 7. Diagram 6 shows a curve and a tangent to the curve. So you've got two curves here. One's a quadratic, one is a linear graph. Express P in terms of C. So we want to express P in terms of C. So we've got two lines here, correct? And they are touching at one point because it's a tangent. So what we can do, first step is we can substitute, we can do substitution, okay? Because both of these equations are equal to Y. So we can do substitution. So we get negative x plus c equals uh, negative negative 2x squared plus 3x plus p. So I rearrange, I have 2x squared minus 3x minus x minus p plus c. Okay, so I rearrange this. Simplify further, 2x squared minus 4x plus c minus p. Okay, I'm just going to write like this. Okay, so now I want to make, I want to express p in terms of c. So what I can do is, because this is a tangent, so if it's a tangent, that means what? It's only cutting at one point. So we can, we can use the formula b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. Why equals to 0? Because it only has one root, okay, one intersection there. So we're going to use that. So what is A, what is B, what is C? A, we can see A is this, 2. B is negative 4. C is this whole thing here, okay? So let me just write down. A is 2. B is negative 4. C is C minus P, okay? So let us substitute. So B square, B is negative 4 square minus 4. A is 2. C is C minus P equals to 0. So you get 16 um, minus 8C plus 8P equals 0. So we want to express P in terms of C. So I'm going to bring both of these to the other side. So I'll have 8P equals to 8C minus 16. So P is equals to, so I'm going to factorize 8. So I get C minus 2 over 8. So in other words, P is equals to C minus 2. Okay, that's your answer. Question B. Find the range of values for, so they give you this equation, inequality here, and they ask you to solve using table method. Okay, so first step, we want to expand the whole thing. Okay, Question B x plus 1, negative 3x minus 3, less than x minus 1. So let us expand this. So you get negative 3x squared minus 3x minus 3x minus 3. And then I shift everything to the left. So I have negative x plus 1. Okay. So we will have, simplify further, we get negative 3x squared negative 6, oh wait, 3, 6, 7, negative 7x, and also negative 2, less than 0. So what we can do is, we, we can remove the negative by taking the whole equation, multiply by negative 1. Okay, when you multiply by negative 1, the sign will change, don't forget. So 3x squared plus 7x plus 2, more than 0. Okay, so now that it has become this equation, how do we normally solve? We want to use table method, right? So we make it become equals to 0 first. Just make it equal 0, then we factorize. So for this, what we will get is uh, 3x plus 1 and also x plus 2. Okay, when you do your factorization. So from here, we know x equals to negative 1 over 3 and x equals to negative 2. So let us use the table method. Okay, the table method will look something like this. We have 1, 2, 3, 3 rows here. So what we have to fill up is, we have to fill up the, the bracket here. Okay, 3x plus 1 is the first one. Second one is uh, x plus 2. And the last one is the whole thing. Okay, so 3x plus 1 and x plus 2. 
okay and here we are the the top here one two three we have to fill up a potential value so what we can do is we know that x is negative 103 and x is negative 2 so negative 2 is smaller so negative 2 we're gonna put here in the middle x equals to negative 2 here is x equals to negative 1 over 3 why am i putting it there because we want to make uh we want to use a number that is suitable to fill up in here okay so this number here whatever you put in here has to be a number less than negative 2 because this line here means x is equals negative 2 so what number can i use such that it is smaller than negative 2 so there are many answers okay many many values you can use but i'm going to use negative 5 so x equals negative 5 and then the middle here has to be a number between negative 2 and negative 1 over 3 so i'm going to use x equals negative 1 okay it's up to you huh? you can use any number and here it has to be a number that is more than x equals to negative 1 over 3 so i'm going to use x equals to 0. so now we just have to substitute this into each of these respective uh, expression here to get the answer now we don't need to know the number we just want to know the sign okay so when we substitute what i got is this one i got negative i got negative here i got negative positive 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 okay so when after i've done this i can do the last part here the last part is because we are combining two of these correct so since i'm combining i'm multiplying them so i'm going to multiply the sign as well so negative negative becomes positive negative positive becomes negative and positive positive becomes positive so which answer am i going to use so since here the question here just now we got more than zero more than zero means it has to be a positive number so positive is this and this okay so that means what is the answer so the answer is going to be the answer is going to be this 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 part here is what x less than negative 2 right x less than negative 2 so x less than negative 2 and the second answer here is x more than negative 1 over 3 okay so these are your answers two of them clear all right question c so question c is asking for it is given that p and 2p are the roots of a quadratic equation okay so to give you this equation here find the quadratic equation with these new roots okay so first wait question b uh, question c let me write down here so we have 2x squared plus 6x plus 4p squared equals 0. So from here we can do, we know that the sum of root, so the sum of root is, the old root is p and 2p, right? So p plus 2p should be equals to, uh, this is sum of root, right? So negative b over a. So what is the b? The b is 6, a is 2. So negative 6 over 2. So let me write here. Negative 6 over 2. So p plus 2p is 3p equals to negative 3. So p equals to negative 1. Okay. So we found the p value. So in this in that case we don't have to do the product of root. Lah. Okay, we can straight away start with the new root. Okay, so what is the new root? So the new root. The new uh, sum of root, right? Sum of root is going to be so. This one is p minus one plus p plus one. Okay, so p is already negative one, right? So this value here, negative one minus negative one, I get negative two plus this one, negative one plus one is zero. So this one is zero, lah. Okay, so the answer is answer is just negative two, lah. Okay, so the sum of root is negative 2 then we do for por por is uh, multiplying so we multiply two of them so this one is what, what we got here just now negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 so negative 2 times this one is 0 right so negative 2 times 0 is 0 so there is no por okay so now we just have to form the new equation so what is the standard form huh? x square minus s o r x plus p o r 
okay so that is the standard form uh, equation okay so equals to zero so this x square so sor is negative two okay the new root we got is negative two so minus negative two x so it becomes positive two lah so i'm just gonna write plus two there plus two x then por is zero so there's no pr equals to zero so this is your answer